In this video, you'll learn about the relationship between a function and its inverse. Consider this function, for instance, which is represented as a set of coordinate pairs x, y. In a function, the x values are inputs that make up the domain, and the y values are outputs that make up the range. Taking the inverse of a function means swapping the inputs and outputs. Where your function is a set of points, you can just swap the positions of the coordinates in order to form the inverse function. So here, 1, 3 becomes 3, 1 in the inverse, and 2, 4 becomes 4, 2. So the inverse of the original function, 1, 3, and 2, 4, is the function 3, 1, and 4, 2. Take a look at the first question. Again, you have a function that is expressed as a set of coordinate pairs. Remember, to take the inverse, swap the inputs and outputs. So the inverse is the set of points 2, 1, 5, 2, and 13, 9. There is another equivalent way to think about the inverse of a function. Begin by replacing f of x with y. Then swap x and y in the equation. Then solve for the new function y. Finally, replace y with f inverse. Take a look at this example. What is the inverse of the function f of x equals x plus 6? This function adds 6 to each input. Begin by replacing f of x with y, then swap x and y in the equation, then solve for the new function y. Finally, replace y with f inverse. Now you know more about the relationship between a function and its inverse. Thanks for watching.